Hello, and welcome back to Windows 7 for Beginners. I'm Joe, and today we're going to be looking at the control panel in Windows 7. What is the control panel? Simply put, it's where you can configure all the facets of your computer. It's the main bridge of the USS Enterprise, and you are James T. Kirk, boldly going where no Windows 7 user has gone before. So sit back in your captain's chair and enjoy the ride. The control panel houses all the main functions of configuring your computer. Here, there are more options than the average user would want to deal with, but there are a few sections that are pretty important. To get to the control panel, you can just click the start button and find control panel right here. The default view is by category, but I like to look at it by icons. It gives you a nice view of all your different options. Let's take a look at a few of these. The devices and printers list is where you can configure your printers and see all attached devices on your machine. If you want to check the properties of your printer, you can select the machine, right click, check printer properties. This is also where you'd go if you wanted to set your default printer. The display tab can set your visual settings from the size of the windows and fonts on your screen to computer resolution. The network and sharing center is important from a network troubleshooting standpoint. Here you can see which connections on your PC are connected and if you have a connection to the internet available. Personalization allows you to set your display themes, wallpapers, and control options, like the color of your window frames. Power options is important if you're using a laptop. Here you can configure the power settings of your machine, and on laptops, this section even includes a power plan for battery power as well as when plugged in. Programs and features is where you go to uninstall a program. Here you have all the programs and features installed on your computer. To uninstall a program, you can usually just go here, right click on the program, and you'll see uninstall right there. It'll guide you through the uninstall process. The System tab can give you a lot of general specifications of your computer, as well as offering the fun of the Windows Experience Index, the measuring stick by which all power geeks judge their computers. User Accounts tab is where you would go to create or delete separate accounts for each user on the PC. Do you want to give Grandma her own account with nothing but a single button that says Internet in bold letters on it? Here's where you start. Windows Firewall is important for managing your security settings on your PC. In almost any case you want your firewall on, but it can be helpful to shut it off temporarily if you have to troubleshoot connection issues. Lastly, the big one is Windows Update. Windows Update is where you manage your updates and your update schedule. It's important to keep your PC updated to avoid any security vulnerabilities and ensure your software is up to date. So there you have it. It's pretty easy to navigate, but the control panel is where most of the configuration of your PC takes place. Being able to successfully navigate it and the options within will lead you to a more fulfilling computer experience. As always, I'm Joe, and this has been Windows 7 for Beginners. I'll see you next time.